Could you sum up today's game? Uh, yeah, it was difficult. Um, we obviously backed on firmly in 10 nil during the week, so I think we had set our expectations high, but we had to adapt to the grass. Um, I think we did that quite well in the latter parts of the first half, um, slightly stickier in the second, um, but you know we're not going to dwell too much on it. Any highlights during the match for you? Uh, yeah, I think after we got the second goal, I think we we realised that we just needed to be patient and and kept the ball more and and draw, drew out Dunfermline, um, sucked them out a bit, and then I think from there, uh, you know, Chloe got a really important second goal, which was a cracker, and then Eva with a third as well. So, yeah, those two were particularly good. Is today's game a reflection on how well you've been doing recently? Um, Honestly, probably not. I think we've been a lot better, um, but I think you know it shows the ten tenacity of the team um, to adapt well to these conditions. And Dunfermline are a good team; like they they battle hard non-stop, and they try, they try and keep the ball as well, so they don't just panic and kind of yeah hoof up the park. So yeah. Dunfermline put the pressure on a little bit today. Well, yeah, they they obviously learned their lessons from th Thursday night and came up with a better game plan I would say and they sat in a bit which frustrated us in the first half but like Kayla said we just tried to be patient kept building and then eventually we got our breakthroughs in the first half and we managed to probably kill the game off at half time which was nice. Yeah, anything you can identify with your strengths today as well? Or? Um, we just moved the ball about really nicely. Like Kelly says, the pitch wasn't great today. Um, we played some really slick football on Thursday night on AstroTurf and it was just about taking that extra touch and having composure. And after we composed ourselves our first 10 minutes, I thought we played really well. And uh, overall season for you and how long have you been going? Can you sum it up for us? Yeah, for me, uh, I think yeah, we did it with conviction and that's the message we wanted to finish the season with. Um, so I think overall we're, we're delighted. Um, We've gone unbeaten. That was our one of our objectives, and and we've done that. And as I say, we've won the league quite convincingly with uh, a massive amount of goals for and minimal against. And what does it mean to you personally and for the club? Yeah, actually, it means a lot. I think you know, as a club, we've gone through a lot the past couple of years, and the expectations at Aberdeen it always has been is to be top flight football. So this is just uh, exactly where we want to be with momentum um, going into next season. And thank you, sir. You personally? Yeah, I've been here for a number of years at Aberdeen and uh, like Kelly says, we we didn't have the greatest seasons. We finished quite well last season and we're still quite unlucky to go down. And um, We've come down to this league and we've tried to build with purpose. Um, we've tried to finish the league on a high, winning with lots of goals because we want to roll this into next season. We want to go up with a purpose. Um, not saying we'll win the next league, but we have really want to challenge next season and keep going and keep going. We want to be back in that SPL one as soon as possible.